Hey guys, I hope you're having a good October. I'm trying to get into the Halloween spirit because this Halloween, this, this October just doesn't feel very Halloween-y for some reason. So I'm bringing the Halloween to you with this jack-o'-lantern tea. Hope it brightens your day. Orange isn't a very good color on me, but you know, whatever. Um, so I wanted to talk about sort of, you know, the, the running discussion that's been very prevalent lately how, uh, you know, they're all kind of tangled into one, this, this push from mainly the right and lots of, uh, I don't know, like alpha male type speakers to have kids and start a family. And that kind of works in tandem with that, that sentiment is trying to push against, I think, the idea that there's this epidemic of like awful women that are sort of prostituting themselves in various ways and um you know don't don't <laughs> don't adhere to the traditional standards and that that's a bad thing and i think like most like like most of everything there's definitely an element of truth um to that claim and uh there's aspects, of course, to the, you know, it's good to start a family that I agree with in a general way, but I don't think it's, I don't think the issue is as prevalent as often sometimes our uh, people are making it, and I don't think um, the need to start a family right now is as um, urgent as they are trying to make it, and so I, I just wanted to give you guys my two cents on these matters. And, uh, firstly, yeah, like, millennials aren't having kids, and all the memes and stuff you see make the case that, again, that's sort of a, a cultural issue, we just don't want to have kids, it's, it's, it's purely out of choice, lifestyle choice, that's absolutely not the case, um, you know, I... <laughs> I lived in a small one-bedroom apartment with my um, my girlfriend for a long time, a couple a couple years. It's a long time to me. I was a fairly young man. Uh, uh, it's the first time I've ever lived with someone, and you know, we both have college degrees, and we we're both teachers, and um, that alone was was a real feat. It, it was. <laughs> money was still felt fairly tight in that situation um so you know if i were to raise a kid i would want him to grow up in in a good situation a situation where money ideally and realistically wasn't an issue and uh in our current situation there what would have been you know 30 40 50 years ago we could have easily raised a kid as two teachers now it's like it's just not gonna happen and as a teacher I see the result of people who have had kids and can't really afford to raise them um and uh it's not good <laughs> so I just I, I want to say that right off the bat I don't think it's that a lot of you know most millennials just are against kids it's really more so that the economy is in the toilet. We've been, really, truly, we've just been in a recession for a long time, it feels like. Uh, COVID threw everything off off kilt, and we're still just sort of drowning in, in debt and uh, trying to pull ourselves back up from, you know, whatever pit uh, COVID put us in. And it's going to be a long way up still. Um and I know I would love to have a family, and it's so funny because online the concept of oh, of a family is so like romanticized and idealized. And of, of course, I'm sure it's the most beautiful thing in the world. I do want to have a kid at some point. That sounds tremendous. It sounds wonderful, and I feel, um, in a lot of ways, like you know, if I, the fact that I want to do it right, I sort of have a duty to do that because there there are so many unfortunate souls that are being sort of plunged into this world in really, really tough situations right now, and I would definitely, I really want to have a kid and, like, do it right, but I can't do that right now because I don't have enough money, and, like, it's as simple as that. 
Uh, it really is. So this uh, narrative that all millennials want to do is party and have sex and like they never want to settle down. I don't think it's necessarily true. We're just getting we've been screwed by by the economy and just sort of you know forces that are beyond our control. And I'm sure there's some people who don't want to have kids. I mean, but that's always been the case. And I don't think that's really. I don't think the the statistics on that have really changed. I think there's always going to be a subset of people who are against kids, and that's fine because honestly, there again, there are a lot of families that I see, a lot of parents that I see who maybe shouldn't have had kids. So I don't I don't think I think it's dangerous to say that like in general, family equals good, because if you can't provide for that family and you're not in the headspace to be a parent, things are going to get dark, and you might raise someone who's going to harm themselves, someone else, not, you know, it's like, it's not, it's not always positive, to be honest. Um, not against it, but you better make damn sure you're doing it right if you're going to do it. And right now it's very difficult to do it. Um, so that's that. The other thing is the, the girls, women dating, right? Uh, it's, and like, I get it. Every, every time I see a, a meme, you know, talking bad about girls, about uh, the dating scene right now, about how women are, you know, A, just in it for the money, B, extremely shallow, and, you know, just just looking for a guy who's six foot tall, blah, 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 checks all these boxes. I've seen that meme recently about how all the women are looking for, like, the top 1% dude, and yet all the dudes are looking, like, adjacent. You know, they're really looking for... Um, a partner within their, uh, you know, within their social circuit, but women are always look like trying to date up or whatever. And again, I think there's an element of truth to a lot of that, but that is also a certain subset of women. And I got to call bullshit on guys right now because, <laughs> and I, I don't know, I don't know how to label these archetypes other than as like sort of the chads and the stacys i never i never considered the chad and the stacy archetype to be positive archetypes the the people that i've met met who would at least physically fit those boxes in real life are always extremely boring narcissistic um just really give they give you nothing it's obviously all about them they're not good people and uh i would say that those of uh, again, those archetypes exist in both, uh, sexes. And so I think when guys are talking about like all oh, these women, they're so, you so shallow, whatever, blah, blah, blah. All of the, all of those memes and stuff that are sort of bad mouthing women, they are correct, but only for a small group of women that are sort of that, like it girl, that Stacy type, whatever you want to call them that like, you know, the girl that is in, <laughs> like an ad for her sorority, the girl that if you found out she had an OnlyFans, you wouldn't be surprised, the girl that's trying to sort of, you know, has that sort of Kardashian vibe, and then there's guys who are also exactly like that, guys who just work out all the time, and have a business degree, and have always lived off their parents' money, and wear boat shoes, and are like very handsome, but then you talk to them for a little bit, and you realize there's like no individual there, um, so... If you haven't gotten to a point in your life where you are immediately sort of deterred by those people, then you need to like figure that out. Because again, all, all these memes that are bad mouthing women, they're always about those sorts of people. Those extremely, and they are shallow, and they are narcissistic, and they do date up, and they don't like you, and they don't care about you. And uh, yeah, it's like, I mean, I, again, I agree with all the, the memes, but uh, <laughs> it's. <laughs> It's only about those type of women. It only applies to those type of women. You should be able to really, I won't say judge a book by its cover, but after one conversation, you should be able to nail them. It's like, all right, this person um, is a trend follower. This person only cares about how they appear to other people. This person, again, is uh, a nepotism baby, whatever you want to call them. It's always that type of person. There are a lot of good women out there. You know, when, when Whenever, again, whenever I see these memes that are sort of bad-mouthing women and I think about, like, the women I've dated or the women I know, I'm like, this absolutely does not apply to them. Um, and I'll, just, I'll go back to the thing I've said in the past where, like, people are people. Again, there's, there's that type of woman that's going to go with that same type of man. And they're both equally bad. And, of course, we don't, we don't, as men, as straight men, we only notice the... 
these sort of whatever you want to call it these these uh these only fans type girls because we are only seeking those the girls out but um I'm sure from like a down to earth girls perspective you know they they and it's, it's it's different for girls in a lot of ways but I'm sure they're aware of that same type of archetype that's found within men um there's lots of great women out there and um you just need to be a little pickier I think when you're dating and I'm not saying picky again as in like you need to date the most beautiful person ever and there's a lot you also need to sort of redefine your standards for beauty because I think a lot of guys subconsciously unconsciously are getting whisked away in the pursuit of you know, that society's standard of beauty, which I don't think is really that beautiful. Um, there's that sort of fake one type of face that girls get a little bit of plastic surgery to try and look like they all look like that same person. Um, you know, you know what it is. There's certain types of things they do with like their makeup, their hair, the style, whatever. I don't, I, I can't even, I don't like notice it enough to really pinpoint what it is, but it's that whole vibe that is like the it vibe right now. And if you're looking for girls that look like that, yeah, it's like kind of your fault that you're going to be let down. Um, there's a lot of different types of beauty. And if you can f sort of open your mind to look for a more organic beauty and to look for an individual that you actually care about and love beyond the physical, then I'm sure you'll do fine. <laughs> the, as, as I've As I've gotten older... Vanity has, in the in this world, has become such a huge problem, and we're all part of the problem. But um, of course, there are those who are swept up by it even more so. And um, it's this type of ultimately vain person that I that you know that uh, culturally we we deem to be the best. But uh in terms of their soul just you know by definition of the fact that they are the vainest of all they're probably not going to be a good person right <laughs> so just be a little more thoughtful when you are seeking a partner out and i'm sure you'll find a very sweet very kind very down-to-earth person and um do have a family when it's time to have a family when you're ready to have a family both on a financial level and on a mental level um and that's really it i don't think there's an epidemic of horrible women i think uh the creation and prevalence of only fans has probably made some bad people come out of the woodwork in a more public way but i don't think it's churning out bad people I think they were already bad and now they're kind of they're doing this um and so they we see we, we're aware of them a lot more and uh again starting a family family doesn't necessarily just equal good but family done right like anything else is of course good so that's that just wanted to give you my two cents on those two things because they've been they've both been floating around a lot and um I do, like, they, I'm aware of them mostly just through memes, which, of course, oversimplify everything, so, you know, maybe if I saw some podcasts and stuff about all this, I'd understand it to a more thorough extent, but, um, and maybe, you know, maybe anyone who's talking about this at length is in my camp, but, uh, I just wanted to tell you guys what I think, and you can tell me what you think in the comments, and, I uh, hope you have a great day.